welcome to at another video class and it is very important uh, you know mark scoring uh, tips video today because as you all know that you know there are three things which is very vital for ca final uh, to score more marks to show your professionalism to show your expertise in your exam paper and that one is section numbers quoting relevant section numbers point two is quoting relevant form numbers notified by the ministry of corporate affairs and rules made under the company sector 2013 and of course the third one is the case laws so what today today we are going to deal with is the e forms applicable for the examination chapter wise discussion so that you you will get a tool to score marks uh, you know for ca final so we will start with uh, you know chapter wise important form numbers today so it's better that you you take uh, your notebook and uh, write these forms so that you know uh, you, you can pause the video and you can you can you know take down the notes so that it will be very useful for you and uh, before i start my showcase of how to you know uh, what are the forms you have to study it's better to give you an introduction as to how to quote you know basically practical questions is the major junk in ca final you know that in wherever it is possible in practical questions for example resignation of director a practical question being asked you write your practical areas you know mr a mr b have to be removed board resolution shareholder resolution, whatever you can write wherever you write things it's better you quote relevant form numbers even though it is not asked by the question you can quote in brackets that in form numbers one so in form numbers one don't list the form numbers but the form numbers should be answered in a way that it should carry along with your answer in the paragraph itself uh, don't write you know the following are the forms it is applicable that is not the good fashion you have to write the form numbers in bracket where for example if resignation of data in bracket dr 11 the form used is dr 11 in strike off the form used is so and so appointment of directors or appointment of md the form used is so and so in brackets you can write theory is a very less fashion in ca final but even though there is you know if it has been asked you could write the relevant form numbers in theory questions also altogether what i should say uh, I will advise my students is at least quote at least 10 form numbers in your answer sheets so that you know the examiner will feel that you are more practical into it you have professional expertise in your articleship and so on and so forth so it's better that you don't lose marks and obviously if you don't write form and if you write form the question you know you know, you know the, the, the the mark will 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 be you know five to six plus obviously because these forms are practically used by the professionals practically used by you know you know chartered accounts in in their into their practice and in the profession so it is not a joke it is very important to score more marks please write section numbers form numbers and relevant case laws today's session is all about form numbers here we go the major junk form comes in the chapter directors you all know that um, board meetings directors powers and duties of directors key managerial personnel etc etc so i'll I will go through the forms which you are supposed to study. Here we go. DAR2 is a form used for giving director's consent to act as director. It is an optional form recently, but you have to quote this form DAR2. The short form is DAR, you know, DAR represents director, but you have to use always the form numbers in short form only as notified by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. DIR 3 application for DIN. So, whatever questions asked from DIN chapter, you have to quote this form. DIR 3 KOC application for KOC of directors. Now, KOC is mandatory for directors, so you have to quote. DIR 5 surrendering of DIN. So, all these four, you know, bunch is the basic forms. So, whatever questions arises from appointment of director, DIN disqualification, you can ipso facto quote these forms, right? Now, we go further. DR6 change in particulars of directors. See DR3, DR3 KOC, DR5, and DR6. All this bunch deals with the chapter director identification number, MCA forms, and you can use that forms wherever asked in the relevant practical questions. Now the more ones very important uh, form is DR11 resignation. The resignation is basically removal, resignation, retirement, or the three R's removal, resignation, retirement is very important for CA final. So one question will be asked. This DR11 form is now optional with the from the company's amendment act 2017. But even though it is optional form, you can write whenever a director resigns uh, from the office, he should inform the reasons in writing to the ROC in form number uh, DR11 bracket. You can use it is an optional form with the from company's amendment act 2017. 
Now coming to mandate reform DR12. Whenever a director is appointed, a company secretary is appointed, MD is appointed, a KMD is appointed, it is mandatory that within 30 days the company should file DR12 with the ROC within 30 days. So that is the form used for appointment of directors. MGT7 is a form used for annual return. This section, this form is applicable in, in the area director's disqualification under section 164 because there is a provision called you know, non-filing of annual return and annual account. So MGT7 is the form used for filing annual return. MGT14 usually students don't use this form. You have to use this form whenever a special resolution is being quoted in your answer sheet. Whenever a special resolution is passed in a company, within 30 days the company should file the extract certified true copy of the special resolution with the register of companies. So Obviously, you will quote few times that the company should pass special resolution in the board meeting. You will pass, you will write in section 180, 180, 1A, 1B, 1C, right? You will write in loan to directors, wherever there are a number of areas you know that in a company's act, in your syllabus, you have to write to be passed special resolution, to be passed special resolution. You should write, whenever you write special resolution, you write in the bracket and the certified true copy of the resolution is to be filed with the rest of companies within 30 days in form number MGT 40. This is the way how to quote. We will go to the next bench. Next bench is AOC. AOC forms are used for filing annual uh, accounts of the company. This can be used in the accounts chapter also. But here the applicability is under section 164 because the law speaks about disqualification of directors if the company does not file financial statements for the you know continuous three years. So wherever you can write that, you can write in bracket, you know, AOC 4 filing of annual financial statements. AOC for XBRL, when the form is to be filed in XBRL format, extensible business reporting language format. AOC for CFS, filing consolidated financial statements, applicability, AS21 applicability is there. Whenever a company has subsidiary companies and you all know that you no know, consolidated financial statements you file, there you can bracket write AOC for consolidated financial statements. AOC for NBFC is a form used for filing of financial statements by NBFCs, so you can write in bracket. So all the AOC forms are used for filing annual financial statements that in our syllabus it is applicable under section 164 subsection 1 not subsection 1 subsection 2 because subsection 2 speaks about non-filing of financial statements for continuous three years and the director will be disqualified in that area you can quote these aoc forms okay now coming to mr1 and mr3 mr1 is the form it's applicable to appointment of md holton director and manager you know you have a chapter called key management personnel and you have a special provision for companies act as far as the appointment of md section 203 is there section 2 subsection 54 definition of md is there and of course you know section 196 there and section 196 3 is there these sections are applicable for md provisions and whenever an md provision is asked if there will be a practical question or be a theory question mind you you must quote in bracket form number mr1 is to be filed whenever an md is to be appointed in a company you have to file MR3 is form applicable for a, you know filing the secretary audit report. You have a separate chapter called company sectoral practice and you may have asked, the, the, the institute may ask a question related to the secretary audit. Whenever a question asked for applicability of secretary audit etc etc you have to quote MR3. Don't forget filing of secretary audit report. This two second set is also very important for exam point of view. Now I go to the next one. The chapter is Compromise Arrangement and Amalgamation CA. I have a separate video for CA. You can look into that. And you have two sets of form in merger chapter. That is Amalgamation chapter. Compromise Arrangement and Amalgamation. Basically three forms in from NCLT rules. NCLT 1, Application to NCLT. NCLT 2, Notice of Admission. NCLT 6, Affidavit. These three forms, whatever provisions you ask for the basics of the amalgamation, you have to quote these three forms. Now the next set car forms from the companies. Compromise, Arrangement and Amalgamation Rules 2016. All the list of forms is very important. CAR 1, Filing Creditors Responsibility Statement when a corporate debt restructuring, you know, a corporate debt restructuring is involved in an amalgamation. So you have to file CRS uh, when CAR is been applicable, uh, you know, when a debt restructuring is there. CAR 2 for Notice of ad notice, Advertisement in Website and Newspaper. CAR 3, Notice to Sector Regulators like SEBI, you know, ROC, official liquidator, competition commission of India, etc. Reserve Bank of India, etc. CAR 4, report or the minutes of the meeting of merger meetings. CAR 5, petition to NCLT for the, for the sanctioning of the order. CAR 6, sanction order from the NCLT under section 230. Continuing, 
Car 7 sanction order for an incentive when it is applicable under section 232. Car 8 annual compliance report to be to be to be certified by a practicing chartered account or company secretary cost account within 210 days from the end of the financial year, stating that the scheme of amalgamation has been complied with by the company. Car 9 notice inviting objections under fast track merger route under section 233. Sec car 10 declaration of solvency under fast track merger car 11 report of meeting under fast track merger car 12 confirmation order by the central government in fast track merger car 13 application by the central government to the nclt you know when public industry is involved and inc 28 is a common form used to file the nclt or court orders with the register of companies within 30 days so students don't forget merger chapter is very easy when you support with these form numbers got it now for the chapter removal of name of company strike off most of the students does not the study this chapter but this is a very important chapter especially in the present scenario because the notes that the forms has been recently notified so don't forget to study this chapter and always while you write practical questions or theoretical questions you should quote these form numbers stk1 notice by roc under 248-1 that is roc is initiating the strike off stk2 when companies applying for strike off 248-2 three indemnity bond STK 4 affidavit by directors, STK 5 public notice under 248 1, STK 6 public notice when company applies 248 2, public notice for dissolution that is the final dissolution order, STK 7, and you have to file a statement of accounts certified by the chartered account in STK 8. See, STK forms is very important because this chapter is crispy and this chapter requires practical knowledge. And if for showing your practical knowledge in the exam purpose, the only way is to quote the relevant form numbers notified by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and it has been applied by the practicing professionals in general. And coming to the last session of this video class is about foreign company. A foreign company is very important chapter. One question may ask, usually students don't study this chapter. I would like to advise you to study this miscellaneous chapters because for scoring aggregate marks, not only more weightage on the main chapters like directors, you know, accounts, audit, operation, mismanagement, etc. You have to study the miscellaneous chapters also. This is going to the very important chapter. Foreign company, three forms are there. FC1, details of FC to be filed, foreign company to be filed with ROC, like, you know, the register office of the company, the statute, the memorandum, etc, etc. FC2, if there is an alteration in the already passed, uh, already given information, then FC2 is to be filed. FC3, annual accounts filing of a foreign company and list of places, wherever the places of business is there, you have to inform to the ROC. Friends, these are the whole bunch of forms which you have to study. And don't forget to study these forms because very important altogether it comes from 2025 forms to you to study. And it's very important for a director's chapter. I will, I will, I will, I will bird's eye view, I'll again, again, brush to the, you know, forms. It's better you take note of these forms. This is the list of forms for directors, set to, right, and compromise arrangements and amalgamation, set two in that, again set three in that, strike off, usually don't, students don't study, but you have to study, my students have to study to score more marks, if more marks mean 60 plus, obviously. And foreign company usually don't, students don't study, but you have to study only there is three forms, FC1, FC2, FC3. So students, it's better whenever, you know, I don't know which are the chances of exams you are going to take. It's better before you finalize to study your forms. It's better to check MC website to see the forms are updated, form numbers or not. And students, this is a video class requesting you to score more marks and easy tips to score more marks. For that, you have to study and write in the appropriate places the relevant form numbers and don't forget to subscribe my channel so that the updated video notification will be received by you and hope that you are all fine there stay healthy and stay fit